If you have a moral compass, if you have any sense about your place in society, your place as a human being, then making a contribution back to others is, is, is important. The USB has to uh, understand its capabilities and make a difference where it's really needed. Healthy communities plus quality education make up for sustainable business. There's a future, I mean, in terms of this emerging market. There's a future in the, in the township and there's need to be investment in the small businesses. We are essentially asking you to make time available and share your skills. The University of Stellenbosch Business School has positioned itself as the knowledge partner of the world in Africa and of Africa in the world. Our core functions are teaching, learning and research and incorporating the industry's needs into our academic programs. Our focus on society is ingrained into the academic fabric of every program we offer. It drives the research we undertake and the critical thinking we encourage. Since its inception in 1964, the USB has built its reputation in the local and international business school environment. The USB is still the only business school of a South African university with international accreditation from both Equus and AMBA. The USB's efforts to contribute to society and sustainability are recognized by international organizations in the USA and Europe. The USB and USB Ed create thought leadership. We call it the USB thought print. In the social sphere through its research centers, conferences, research fellowships and the research undertaken by its faculty members and students. The objectives of USB in terms of its social engagement for me is, is to make a difference in, in a narrow sense. It, we should be doing something to society that people in society notice. It's very easy to spread your efforts very widely and, and you, you get the impression that you're helping a lot of people but you're helping a lot of people in very small ways. Our approach is that we should focus and target the activities uh, onto specific areas and the, the magic in this is to focus your attention for example on small business people on managers in NPOs in a way that they notice that we have made a difference to the way that they manage, the way that, the way that their lives are. So it, for me, it's about the focus of programs rather than necessarily the spread of it. USB's management program for non-profit organizations is one of the USB's oldest social impact projects. I would say there, there are three factors that makes it unique and that makes it special. And these are um, the involvement of the alumni. And secondly, it's the, um, the resources that we deploy on the program. And I think thirdly, it's the brand of the business school. The ask that we have for alumni is not only to um, uh, let a few people do the work, but also to contribute with their skills specifically around mentorship programs, specifically around um, the potential to coach particular um, uh, uh, managers of NPOs and so on. So we're always keen to get new blood, new ideas, and perhaps new way of, of sustaining this program into the future. Other forms of support include bursaries. What does it mean to be a bursary holder of the USB? It means quite a lot. Firstly, it means that the institution really believes in me. It gives me great confidence and also it's a motivating factor. An MBA is quite an expensive um, degree, but it's a good investment in the long run. I look at it as short-term sacrifice for long-term gain. Having the, the bursary actually does relieve a bit of um, strain on my studies and I focus more on my studies. I decided to do an MBA purely on personal growth. Personal growth encompasses leadership, EQ, trying to get a better understanding of myself and obviously for the business principles. 
the cost content is focused on leadership. That's an area where I feel is quite key as, as, as someone who wants to grow strategically and in management. The accreditation of the business school definitely played a role in my decision to come to the USP. I've got um, high ambitions and I wanted to be part of an institution that is highly regarded. So one has to ask the question, where does the social engagement agenda appear within the academic agenda? Uh, and and it, it appears in, in lots of different places. An obvious example is that case studies which involve social entrepreneurship, social interventions, are very good learning vehicles for more general business, business rules. Uh, secondly, there, there, there is a program within the school, the Masters in Development Finance, which is actually aimed at making a difference to people in developing countries using finance as a vehicle. And, and I, I actually can't think of anything that is more powerful as a social intervention medium than educating people about finance. And we have some of the best people in the world here to do that. The USB has launched a small business academy. With the academy, the USB hopes to make a real difference to the lives and the businesses of the small business owners in Kailicha and other uh, townships. To, to be successful doesn't mean that you have to have own a car, have a nice house. It means that you can start something, create employment and grow your businesses. When you look at entrepreneurs or small businesses are operating, and uh, most people they tend to think that the, the skill that is needed is a hard skill and they forget that there, there are two types of skills that you're looking at. There are soft skills, probably where you look at the, the development of the person who is driving the business, the confidence of the person and the belief of the person and the leadership in the person who runs the businesses. I mean, these are kind of key skills that you have to make sure that you impact on this um, entrepreneur. And two, the skill on the business skill, I mean, on the market, in terms of how do you do marketing and how do you, in terms of the operations, and also the finance, which is cash flow and, and margin of accounts. The participants will be part of the academy for a year. During this period, they will be guided and supported with an intense program. So these people will have access to libraries, to mentors, and in addition, they will come to the school and receive actually quite conventional business education. The intention is to provide um, a practical guidance practical men mentorship and advice to these particular small businesses. I'm very confident that that will be a, a, a make a terrific difference to people's business lives. The USB's executive education arm, USB Ed, contributes to social initiatives in the following ways. The first one is our collaboration with USB on their own NPO program, which we execute on our own learning platform. The second one is our own NPO development program, a management program that we execute in collaboration with the Coca-Cola Africa Institute. The third one is we use the participants on our SMD programs to act as consultants for NPOs as part of their own development. If we're looking at what we want the stakeholders to uh, uh, know about our activities, first of all, they should be aware that we are seriously committed towards social engagement. You know? We want to interact with our stakeholders because this is not something which is done in the ivory tower, uh, uh, just at the university on certain academic topics. These are very concrete things. To take the example of maybe small business support in Kailicha, then this is something which uh, 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 anyone you know, in the business scene could play a certain role. We would like to have partners in the uh, uh, communities uh, with our stakeholders. So I think their interaction and that Obviously, it takes very important the alumni's role, but also others, you know, sponsors and, and donor agencies and NGOs and so on. The USB is extremely proud of its 15,000 alumni who have excelled to become leaders in all spheres of society. People often ask me what the USB Alumni Association is all about. Now, I recently read an article entitled The Power of Alumni which really highlighted the immense power that can be derived from an alumni association if put to its proper use. In my capacity 
as president of the Alumni Association, I'm fully committed to creating a stimulating environment for graduates and to adding value for the various stakeholders, namely the alumni, the business school itself, the various companies involved, and importantly, the South African economy at large. The USB Alumni Association has branches all over South Africa, as well as in Namibia, West Africa, East Africa, the UK and Europe. Another way for alumni to make a contribution is by providing financial assistance. A key activity of the Alumni Association is fundraising. Fundraising to provide bursaries for deserving students and also to fund our social initiatives like the Small Business Academy. The USB's social engagement initiatives tie in with Stellenbosch University's HOPE project, which creates sustainable solutions to some of South Africa's and Africa's most pressing problems. The impact of our social perspective is not just in the courses that we give. We have two centres. There's a, a centre for dispute settlement for Africa and a centre for corporate governance, the, the heads of which quite literally appear within committees, policy-making committees, which are of world stature. My vision for the USB Alumni Association is to become one of the most desirable alumni associations in the world. Really to take its rightful place among the elite of these associations. But there's only one way to achieve this and for stakeholders to reap the maximum benefits. And that is for each and every USB alumnus to become actively involved in our project. Only then will we achieve the power, or should I say the awesome power of alumni. Social engagement is important to, to the school, to USB, but we can't do it on our own. We need the assistance of institutions, and ultimately we need the assistance of individuals. And I hope that uh, we can attract through our own enthusiasm and, and spark enthusiasm institutionally and on, on an individual basis. So please help us. <laughs>